Hey guys, it's Greenbolt and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Pokemon TCG Online series and a special hello to all my new subscribers. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I like to build my custom decks and help you get started and jump straight into battle using that deck. I've done a pack opening episode and I've got some EX cards and I've got some wicked mega EX cards. So if you have a chance, you should check that out. Anyways, let's not waste any time and jump straight into battle. So before we begin, we're going to go straight into our deck manager. Um, so today what I want to do is build myself a standard deck. Uh, to do that, you just simply go into deck manager, select create a new deck and then select the type you want to build. Uh, I tend to filter mine according to what I want to build. So um, this time I'm building fire and normal, uh, click apply. The type of decks I tend to build uh, tend to be more trainer support card heavy. Uh, this allows me to effectively play my Pokemon quickly and get the relevant energy for it to be battle ready. So, uh, along the bottom there, as you can see, I've got some Mega EXs. So if you watch my Booster Pack opening episode from that one, you can see where we've got uh, Mega Charizard, we've got a number of EXs, so I recommend watching that. Uh, going to build my deck consisting of Camerupt. So if you do have the opportunity to play EX cards, I would strongly recommend that. Uh, I'm going to play Moltres, and what I like to do is not to play heavy on evolution cards just for the fact they're harder to prep, you're not sure if you're going to pull them and get the relevant energy to evolve them. Uh, I'll play the Entai card. Uh, the reason why I like playing Entai is for combat blades. So you do 20 more damage depending on how many Pokemon are on your opponent's bench. Uh, so if he has 5, you have potential to do 100 plus more damage. I play Moltres just for the fact of fly, uh, Flying Flare, sorry. So Flying Flare is uh, basically a switch on a Pokemon where you can do 40 more damage by taking 20 damage yourself. Okay, so we got our main attacking force of our deck. I also like to play Rapidash. There's a massive reason I like to play Rapidash is Fire Blast. Fair enough, you're discarding a fire energy to use uh, to deal 70 damage but if you have special fire energy what that generally means is that you'll discard that special fire energy only to re return to the Pokemon in play so Rapidash will lose a fire and regain that back and for two fire energy that is quite a low energy cost for 70 damage so to play Rapidash obviously we need some Ponyta so I'm gonna go with one of each and one more and what else can we play? We can play Arcanine. I love this new Arcanine card that we got on our first Let's Play video. And that's Scorching Breath. But in order to play that, we need to play a Growly. And out of our Growly options, what we have is the original uh, XY, uh, Generations XY, or we have the new Growlithe but I'm going to play the original just for a fact it has more attack options so we'll add two there and in total that gives us 14 Pokemon that we can actually battle with um, so I'm just thinking what else we can play we could play another Arcanine there and that gives us totals of 15 I think that's good enough our fire deck but we probably want to include some um, normal types so I like to call them energy absorbers so I'll play a Snorlax and hopefully I might have a Genghis Khan here somewhere oh, Genghis Khan a Kanga Kangas Khan okay so that's 17 total next we're gonna move on to our energy and we're going to run as many of these uh, fire specials as we can and then as many double energy as well I like to run with four uh, colorless uh, double energy it just means that you can get your attacks out a lot quicker and then finally we can play some normal fire uh, energy types there we go and we'll play 15 so that leaves us with a number of trainer cards, like half 
pretty much half the deck is going to consist of trainer and support cards. I always love to run Super Potion because you can stack those and deal, uh, well, heal considerable damage. Uh, let's see what Rock's Grit is. Shuffle six in any combination of your Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard part into your deck. We are going to be discarding a lot of um, su support cards as we play them. I always run with Giovanni's Scheme. Uh, just for the fact it's kind of once again a switched supporter card so you'll be able to either draw five cards if you don't have any cards in your hand or um, during your turn apply 20 more damage to your pokemon so it does increase the damage output um, so we'll play two of those and then there's a card that i always love playing and it's tierno just for the fact it allows you to draw three cards so we're going to play as many of those as possible we'll play another one nope so four is its limit right there and I also want to play Professor's Letter just to gain as much energy as possible. Um, and I'll always run Great Balls just to see if I can pull the Pokemon I need. So we only can play two of those, unfortunately. And Level Balls just to get Ponytar into play. Okay, um, I'm not sure what other support cards we can play, but there is a Nurse Joy card. There we go. Pokemon Center Lady, so basically Nurse Joy. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna play two of those. And now we need to get some boost cards for our actual Pokemon. So I like to play Lucky Helmet uh, from time to time as that would allow us to get additional cards if you are attacked and it might save you from a clinch um, energy revival or retrieval sorry so we'll play that I'm not sure where that's gone has it played it yep it's added it in but I just need one of those and obviously the evolution card so you want to evolve your Pokemon quickly so you want to have energy, sorry, you, you definitely want to have Evo Soda. Hmm. I'm trying to see what else we can play. Scorchers is great, but because we don't have a lot of fire energy, um, we're not really going to be sacrificing fire energy just to uh, gain more cards. Okay. Okay, we're definitely playing that Bridget card because we definitely have an EX. But what we want is the ability to keep drawing cards. And we'll play Skylar. Shauna. Hmm. We already played Brock's Grit, so we don't need that one. I'm just uh, struggling to find what would be suitable for this deck. What's this fairy drop? No, we don't want to do that. Shuffle two cards from your hand into your deck. If you can't, shuffle two cards into your hand. You can't play this card, then draw a card. Uh, no. Um, So we just need two cards. Oh, okay, I've got an idea here. If we can filter four, item tool. Okay, so what I wanna do then is I wanna play VS Seeker and put a support card from your discard part into your hand. Not really, no. Um, 
Let's see if there's anything here. Nope, nope. So actually, let's get some EXP share so we can actually save some of the energy if we do get hit or knocked out. Uh, and that gives us 60 cards. So that's pretty much done. I would recommend you test your deck before you take it into battles. Sometimes it doesn't really play out, even though you thought about it. Um, sometimes you won't be lucky enough to draw the cards that you think you're going to draw. So what I'm going to call this is Green Bolts Fire Deck ST. Uh, ST is just for standard, just so I know what it is. Um, Select our deck box. Go with cool firebox and we'll go with black and white. So we'll save that and our new deck is ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll go straight into verses. Select our standard deck. Ooh. There we go. And just hit play. So I did do a recording of us playing um, since the last let's play series and uh, what happened was I forgot um, my PC had a bit of an issue and didn't uh, didn't it corrupted the the um, would you call it the recording and I wasn't able to save that in any sort of way so this will be our episode two so we're looking for an opponent and we'll see who it is and we'll jump straight into battle um, I'm hoping straight off the bat we get to play that camera ruts card and we'll get someone called Blue Fire who's actually running a, fi um, a fighting fire type uh, deck. So it'll be interesting to see how he, how he plays that. Uh, yeah, we'll go first. I don't mind going first. And straight off the bat, we do have Ponytail. That's not a bad uh, hand at all. And let's see what he plays at. So we're going to play our ponytail again. And we're going to hit done. And so I think in, um, I haven't played against much fighting types. So I'm not sure what his strategy will be. But straight off the bat, he does have that Charizard EX card. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think we're going to be in a bit of trouble here. But however... We shouldn't give up. We'll play Tierno. Let's see if we can get our EX to the bench. We will play that. And we'll play Live Call on Panta. And what we'll do is we'll end our turn. So he's going to probably be running a lot of colorless energy cards. And that just generally means that uh, he'll get his wing attack a lot quicker. Oh, and straight away he's only played the one fighting energy. Okay, so what we're going to do is play Bridget. And straight away, we're going to go for our camera ups. Just so he knows, we do have EX cards in his deck. So we'll hit done. And what we'll do is we'll play double colorless energy on our camera ups. And only when we get Rapid Dash, we'll play uh, our second fire energy onto him. But we'll slowly whittle away his health. But our biggest problem will be actually his uh, Reggie Ice, only because of the Resistance Blizzard. Resistance Blizzard is a bit of a nightmare to deal with, especially if you've got a deck loaded with the EX cards. Nothing's more frustrating than not being able to steal damage, especially if your deck's just full of EX cards. 
Okay, so it's be interesting to see what he does. He's just drawn out two fighting energies and he's calling more Pokemon onto his bench. Let's see what he's played. He's played a Regirock. Uh, yeah, so he's actually geared up to defend against EX Pokemon. But we luckily have a, a slightly more clever deck than just running EXs. So we got Camerupt up to speed. But in order to take out his Camerupt, we will definitely need uh, a boost in attack. So we'll need to play Camerupt after we, uh, well, after Ponytail gets knocked out. Because the way it's going at the moment is one more energy means that his Charizard will take out our Ponytail. And he's got the Charizard Spirit Link, which means he does have the Mega Charizard card. And it's unfortunate for us. Okay. And I don't want to play any more Ponytar. It's going to be very difficult for us to actually win this battle. And he's going to play that Crimson Dive. Actually, I don't think he will. Because each time he plays that Crimson Dive, he'll have to hurt himself. And that means we could actually steal this one away from him. So, I am going to play that Special Fire Energy on Camera I am going to not bring another Pain Time to the bench. But I will hit him with uh, Wild Coal. Uh, sorry, Live Coal. And he's loading it up with much damage as possible. And he's taken additional damage. So what I'll do is I'll play the next Ponytail. Do I really want to do that? Okay. Let's play Camera Up. Actually, what is his health first? Let's be smart about this. So he's taken 90 damage. That leaves him with 130 uh, health. Uh, we do play camera ups, which we will. Play the Tierno card. We've got another special energy card that we can play on camera ups. Play the Genghis Khan uh, card. Uh, maybe put another Pony to the bench at this point moment just to fill it out a bit. We have some level balls, so we probably can get a Rapidash. And straight off the bat, what we're going to do is evolve one of our pony tiles into a Rapidash. We will put EXP share onto Moltres. And use another level ball. So I get Fire Blast. Okay, so the strategy here is to get Fire Blast onto our Rapid Dashes very quickly, but also draw those special energy cards. We've used a lot of them on our Camera Ups. What do we have in our discard pile? Do we have enough energy? That's what I'm saying to make that card look worthwhile. Um, no. So what we're going to do is Explosive Jet, discard all our energy cards and knock out his Charizard. Uh, what this will then mean is that uh, We will need additional energy after. And that takes out his Mega Charizard. That returns those energies back to us. And he's given up. <laughs> so with such an amazing card on the bench, we've turned it around and pretty much taken him out. I'm not sure why he's given up considering he had two of those uh, Reggie cards on his bench, but hey, uh, we've somehow managed to turn it around, so it's never impossible to do it with just a standard card. Uh, someone who was favoured, you get two, oh, that's brilliant, so we just beat someone who was favoured. Uh, and we have more coins. So, 
I would strongly recommend strengthening up, uh, well, testing any deck you put together by quickly doing quick battle or use the test uh, deck option in the deck builder. Um, what we're now going to do is I'm going to show you the benefits of playing with the standard theme decks you have. And the great thing about theme decks is it teaches you the mechanics of how you can play certain cards. Um, obviously with each of these theme decks they each have a specific strategy on what you want to do. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll play with Hidden Depths. And the reason why I like the Hidden Depths, uh, well I love the Hidden Depths deck is just for the fact uh, it has Dugong. And Dugong allows you to either sleep or paralyze an enemy buys you time to build up your uh, Gyarados so when it does come into play it's fully stacked and you'll be able to just rip through pretty much anyone in front of you. However, like I said it does require a bit of time and we're going to find out who we're playing. So we're playing Bulu, so hello to Bulu and straight off the bat we have our seal. We don't have a lot of uh, actual Pokemon cards here, uh, that just generally means that we're going to be struggling to pull that Dugon. But we do have a last special. Last special is only really good if they loaded their bench with a number of Pokemon. So the more Pokemon they have in their bench, the better off we are playing that card. But he's running the same deck as us, so he might be able to show us a strategy that we never encountered before. So fingers crossed it's going to be a learning experience for either player. So He's still selecting his Pokemon, which means he does have options for his bench. But this will give us an insight in regards to his hand. So I like to kind of try and read people. It helps you build your strategy when you go on the offensive with those Pokemon. So my my thinking is he does have a number of options, but he doesn't know which Pokemon he wants to put onto the bench. Okay, still waiting, Bulu. So I have no basic Pokemon. He's decided not to play any Pokemon. However, because he's taken a while to think that through, I kind of guessed he does have Pokemon in his bench. But not playing them, I'm not sure why he hasn't done that. Hey, but he's probably just being cautious. So his opening gambit was Magikarp. Um, unfortunately, it's not really a great card to have. That epic splash uh, attack it uses, which is this one here, means that he has to flip two coins and both have to be heads in order to get that 30 damage in. However, Magikarp is not renowned for his uh, base form. It's this more powerful form that we need to be worried about, and that's Gyarados. And yep, straight waves added that energy to his Gyarados. And what we're going to do is we're going to add Healing Scarf, play Professor's Letter, so we can get ourselves more energy cards. And then maybe he either knows I have a last special, <laughs> hence why he's not playing anything on his bench. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll do Icy Snow. Uh, with Icy Snow, we can slowly whittle away his magic up. Oh, and he's managed to land that epic splash. So that's perfectly fine. We can play another energy card on to seal to recover him. We're not short of any energy cards anytime soon. And then we can just play Icy Snow. And the question is whether his Epic Splash will land again. If so, he's the most luckiest man I've ever met. <laughs> and he's super duper lucky. Okay, so I might play the end card. I'm not sure yet. Each player shuffles his or her hand into deck and then each draw for the prize card remaining. That is not a bad card for myself. However, I'm going to heal seal first. 
Actually, there's no need. I will knock him out in the next uh, attack. I've just realised that now, guys. Um, but we'll play the end card anyway. Just see if I was going to get that dugong. And I did. Play the dugong. And play the do duo. And hit him with freezing breath. So, um, it seems like he didn't have much of a hand, or he didn't know how to play his hand. But Bilu, hats off, um, he stuck around at least to the end. Oh, we got 375 coins. That's actually quite a massive boost. And that brings us ever closer to the forward ladder. Um, what we'll now do guys is we're going to have one more battle and this will be the final battle. Uh, I felt like we were a little bit cheated with playing Hidden Depths because the opponent either didn't know how to play or just wasn't bothered. So I really want to show you the strengths of the Hidden Depths uh, deck. So what we'll hit is we'll look for one more opponent for the Versus Ladder and then we'll probably end the video. Okay, so we're playing someone called Sam Alum 1999. I'm guessing that's probably when Sam was born. But hats off, Sam. Let's have a great battle. And I will be interested to see what kind of deck he's running. Oh, great. So, straight at the back, we have Magikarp and Gyarados with three energy cards. So, we're going to start off with Magikarp. And we're just going to build up for Berserker Splash. And we'll play our Goldeen and our second Magikarp. And hit done. So, he's got a Mental Might deck and he's starting off with a Routes. And a bit surprised he's not trying to load his bench. Um, And we'll hit him with Epic Splash first, see if we land any damage, but no. <laughs> so that was a horrible fail. But the good thing is he can't attack us. The risk with running Magikarp straight off the bat is the fact that they have a, an attack that does 30 damage. But he's played his Corellia quickly. Oh, we might be in trouble here with Double Slap. That's fine. If he did the double slap, then I'd be slightly annoyed, but it never happened. So let's play our Skylar cards, find out what we can actually play. Mm. Okay, I want to play Healing Scar because that just means that we could potentially repair the damage that's done to Magikarp when we play the next energy card. So we'll play Healing Scarf and then we'll evolve that Magikarp into a Gyarados. And then what we're going to do is play another Water Energy. So at the moment we can't attack, but that's okay. Because uh, I can knock out his uh, Krillia with a single blow of Berserker Splash. But now that he has that Milk Tank. Hmm. Oh, and he's handed victory over to us. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, I couldn't show you uh, what I wanted to show you, but that's the nature of the interwebs um, and people's patience against playing... Uh, well, people's patience of playing against a well-prepared player. So, on that note, I think we're just going to end the video here pretty much for episode two i'm sorry if i pronounced the pokemon names wrong i'm learning trust me but most importantly i hope you learned some tips on building a deck and gathering some battle skills if you want to trade cards you can leave a comment or get me on twitter i've also done a booster pack opening where we got some awesome megas and some ex's as well starting next episode i will be giving away some codes but to make it fair i'll also be giving some codes away on twitter so follow me or subscribe if you want to get those 
If you'd like to catch up with me and what I'm up to, you can follow, like, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. Links are in the description. And remember, game the clever way. Peace.